Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. I hope everyone enjoyed Super Bowl Sunday. It was an amazing game, a lot of controversies. But now we're back to QuickBooks over here where we have another question. Yet yeah, you guys have been pounding me with questions. So here's another one. And it says, how do you properly record a bounce check? It's got all this different other stuff in here, but the idea is how do you do a bounce check? There are a couple different ways you could do it. I'm going to take you over to QuickBooks, try to show you one simple way that I like to approach it. So we are in QuickBooks under Chart of Accounts. I already created an account over here called Bounced forward slash return checks you can call it whatever you want to it's an accounts receivable so go to accounts go to new and add this new AR account called bounce checks next step went to company make general journal entries and really the idea over here is this once you realize the check bounced the money left your account you're gonna make a journal entry recording it once the money comes back, you're going to do another journal entry with the opposite information, recording it as well. One will cancel out the other. And it should not interfere with your bank reconciliation because you're notating here the specific dates that these things happen. And that's how you reconcile your bank. So here's what I mean. Right now, we basically have where the money, the check, bounced and you got reversed a thousand dollars you had a thousand dollar deposit now it's minus a thousand dollars in your bank so first thing I'm gonna do is pick the checking account where the money came out of so a thousand dollars is what we're gonna credit because we lost a thousand dollars right now as of now we got to choose a customer so let's say it was customer one and for over here we're going to pick the new account that we set up, which was under AR, which is balance checks. We're going to debit that account for 1000 Also do customer one. And save and close. And let's go over to chart of accounts and see what effect that did. So under chart of accounts, accounts receivable, balance checks right over here. You'll notice that now we have a $1,000 balance. Okay. So now... You got your second check, money's back in the bank. What do you do? Back to general journal entry, and you do exactly what we did, except now you just switch the debits and the credits around. So let's go back there and seal it up. And here we are, same exact transaction, except now we're gonna debit the checking account and we're gonna credit the balance check, save and close, back to chart of accounts, bounce, re return checks, we're down to zero. So this is where you want to be at. You want to be at zero over here. And that's basically how you do it. And then from there, you can reconcile. If you guys have any more questions, you know who takes care of you. That's right. Michael Davids. Holler. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.